Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up our faith planners for the month of January. Got these sticker sheets here ready to go as well as this washi tape I may use and this sticker book which I pulled from. So it's a brand new year, brand new planner and I really just wasn't sure how I was going to set up my faith planner going into 2021. Last year, I had used the monthly layout, so I was used to doing all of my spreads all at once in the beginning of the month so that I could just use the same theme throughout the month and, and make my life a little bit easier that way. I really liked having that set up all at once, so I'm going to continue that into 2021. But this time, the layout is different. It is a weekly layout, a quadrant layout. And so I wanted to keep things a little bit simple this first time around till I get a feel for how everything's going to lay out. And then I'll get a little more creative as I get more comfortable with this brand new layout. So as I did before, I do set up a monthly spread every month. And this month I'm going to be focusing on the attributes of God. I found a 30 day challenge on Pinterest. That's where I get a lot of the ideas I have for these monthly layouts. And it's a Bible journaling prompt, but I just thought it would be nice to have a simple thing to focus on every day. And there's a verse that goes with each of those attributes that I can read up on and find out more about that attribute, but without taking up too much time because I do do a daily reading every day, as well as the reason I have this planner, the verse writing of the day, and then I also have uh, my morning prayer and all that at once is, you know, it takes a little bit of time. So I didn't want it to be too burdensome to add something else on my list here in the monthly layout. So as I was discussing that, I went ahead and whited out the fine lines between those empty days at the beginning of the month. And I am putting in a quote from the book that says, Jesus is my jam. It's my kind of main decor with some washi tape that I have there. I cut one of the strips in half so that it would be a little bit less you know, bulky there. And then I layered it with some gold cross washi that I had. On the side, I wrote in the title for the month, which I've been doing since last year. And this title, like I said, is The Attributes of God. I like to pencil things in ahead of time, and then I will actually letter it in on camera so you can kind of see it come to life. I'm using my favorite twim markers. I don't know what how you say it, but that's what they are. <laughs> the, TWI markers from Arteza. Right now I only have my 48 pack open. I still need to find something to store my brand new 100 pack that I got, which I love. I'm so excited for the new colors. So that's what you're seeing there. That's just my 48 pack of pens, but I need to figure out some storage options for the other ones. So I just pulled some colors that I thought coordinated with the colors within the spreads for this theme. And I'm filling in the gap there at the edge with some hearts, again, with that color scheme I'm going for for the month. And sorry if I sound a little bit congested. That's, you know, my allergies. They come and go as they please. <laughs> Okay, and I, I like how that's looking, but there's just something I'm not really in love with with this layered washi. So I think I'm just going to trim off the excess that overlaps there on the rainbow washi and kind of make it look a little bit cleaner. I wasn't able to pull up this washi after I had laid it down, so there was no real changing it after that. But I think by eliminating that overlap and kind of making it look like the washi was behind it, really helped it look a little less busy, and I liked it a lot better after that. Okay, 
And I have a bunch of those attributes already penciled in, but what I decided to do on that in that moment was to actually color them in each day so that I, you know, can kind of track what I did the research on each day. I think that'll work pretty well and I'll just erase the pencil lines as I go. And then what I decided to do here for all of the spreads is to add these strips of quotes across the middle as decor. So I thought that would work well and coordinate well with the themes that I have going on, which is basically just kind of this rainbow color scheme and the gold accents. That's pretty much what that whole book is about with these colors and then the gold. So it was pretty easy to find something that would work here for all of the spreads. And again, since this is my first month working in this quadrant layout, I didn't want to put too much on the page. I was a little bit afraid that, you know, I wouldn't know how much room I needed quite yet since I haven't done a month in this layout. So I'm going to keep it really low profile, but with these strips, I think it's just the right amount of color and decor without being too minimalistic and gives a little bit of a feeling that everything is connected for the month, color schemes and just the tones. I also decided to do a memory verse every week. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in that very first box. And then I'll be writing the verse of the day within all of the other boxes as I go throughout the month. And I plan on using those twin markers throughout the year and more of the brush tip side of things. Whereas in 2020, I used the finer tip a lot more working on my mono line. I plan on doing more brush lettering practice in 2021. And that's another reason why I'm not doing too much decor because I don't know how much room I'm really gonna need using that thicker brush tip style of lettering. I'm just gonna finish layering in all of these longer strips and adding in the memory verse for each week. I just pulled those little quotes directly from the Happy and Kind sticker book I showed earlier. I was originally thinking I would have some washi layered in around the quotes and maybe on the top or the bottom, but again, I'm gonna keep it real simple this month. Not too much and kind of let the verse lettering do all the work for the month. When I went back to this monthly spread to decide whether or not I was going to color in the letters, I just decided that this pink banner, I just wasn't loving it. So I went ahead and just stripped it off and I'm going to add in some of the other little items that I had pulled for the core. Kind of fill that space with that and I like that a lot better a lot less pink just there in your face and I started pulling pens to actually use on the spread because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do at this point so I was just trying out colors and seeing if I could get some of those markers together for color but then again, I went back and decided that I would just do it um, each day as the month progressed. Once I'm done with that, you guys, we will be done. Simple, cute, I think. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye!